Welcome to Ask Prep, your trusted companion for UPSC and IS preparation. Today we will study about a very important topic of Indian geography, which is biodiversity hotspots in India. This concept is pivotal not only for environmental awareness but also for sustainable development and ecological balance. Biodiversity hotspots are regions that are rich in species diversity and endemic species, meaning species that are found nowhere else on Earth. To qualify as a hotspot, a region must have at least 1,500 species of vascular plants as endemics and must have lost at least 70% of its original habitat. Globally, there are 36 such hotspots, and India is home to four of them, showcasing its ecological richness and variety. The first biodiversity hotspot we'll discuss is the Himalayan region. Stretching across northeastern states, parts of West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir, and Himachal Pradesh, the Himalayas are known for their incredible altitudinal variation. This variation creates a unique environment for diverse flora and fauna. Species like the snow leopard, red panda, and a wide variety of rhododendrons call this region home. However, this hotspot faces threats from deforestation, overgrazing, and climate change, which are impacting its fragile ecosystems. Next, we have the Indo-Burma region. This hotspot includes northeastern states of India and extends into Myanmar, Cambodia, and Vietnam. It is one of the most biologically rich but critically endangered regions in the world. The Indo-Burma region is home to species like the Asiatic black bear, Hulok gibbon, and a variety of orchids. Despite its richness, this region faces severe pressures from shifting agriculture, deforestation, and urban expansion. Conservation efforts are critical to preserving its unique biodiversity. The third hotspot is the Western Ghats, also known as the Sahyadri Hills. Running parallel to India's western coast, the Western Ghats are a treasure trove of biodiversity. The region is recognized for its high level of endemism, with species like the Nilgiri Taher, Lion-tailed Macaque, and Malabar Civet. This region is also crucial for its role in regulating monsoonal rains. However, habitat loss due to plantations, mining, and infrastructure development poses significant threats to its delicate ecosystems. Finally, we come to the Sundaland hotspot, which includes the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. These islands are known for their unique ecosystems, which are home to species like the Nicobar pigeon, saltwater crocodile, and dugong, also known as the sea cow. The coral reefs surrounding these islands add to their ecological importance. Yet, rising sea levels, habitat destruction, and invasive species remain significant concerns for this region. The importance of these hotspots cannot be overstated. They are reservoirs of biodiversity that provide numerous ecological services, such as air and water purification, climate regulation, and soil fertility. Moreover, they support livelihoods through agriculture, forestry, and ecotourism. However, biodiversity in these regions is under constant threat. Human activities, such as deforestation, poaching, and infrastructure development, coupled with the impacts of climate change, are leading to habitat destruction and species extinction. India has taken several steps to address these challenges through laws like the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, Forest Conservation Act of 1980, and the establishment of protected areas, national parks, and wildlife sanctuaries. In addition to these measures, community participation plays a vital role. Initiatives like joint forest management and eco-development programs engage local populations in conservation efforts, ensuring that they benefit economically while contributing to the preservation of biodiversity. Understanding biodiversity hotspots is critical because they are vital for ecological balance and provide numerous ecosystem services. They act as carbon sinks, regulate climate, and support livelihoods through agriculture, forestry, and ecotourism. Moreover, they are reservoirs of genetic diversity, which is essential for food security and medicinal discoveries. Conservation efforts in these hotspots are ongoing. Initiatives like Project Tiger, Project Elephant, and the National Biodiversity Action Plan aim to protect India's rich biodiversity. Protected areas, biosphere reserves, and community-driven conservation projects also play a significant role. 
International cooperation is also key to conserving biodiversity. India is a signatory to several global agreements, such as the Convention on Biological Diversity CBD, which aims to promote sustainable development and the fair sharing of resources derived from biodiversity. Moving on to the Indo-Burma region, which includes northeastern India extending to Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam. This area is incredibly rich in biodiversity, housing species such as the Hulok Gibbon, Indian Hornbill, and many rare orchids. The Indo-Burma hotspot is also one of the most threatened due to activities like slash-and-burn agriculture, hunting, and habitat destruction. Why are these biodiversity hotspots so important? Biodiversity hotspots are crucial for maintaining ecological balance, supporting livelihoods, and providing ecosystem services like clean air and water. They also play a pivotal role in combating climate change by acting as carbon sinks. For UPSC aspirants, understanding biodiversity hotspots is not just about memorizing facts. It's about grasping the interconnectedness of ecosystems, human activities, and policy measures. Questions on this topic often appear in prelims, mains, and even the interview stage, making it a critical area of focus. As we move forward, let's remember that conserving biodiversity is not merely an environmental issue, it's a question of survival and sustainability. Protecting these hotspots ensures the health of our planet and the well-being of future generations. Thank you for watching Ask Prep. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on topics critical for your UPSC preparation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Together, let's prepare to shape a sustainable and resilient future for India.